Hello everybody, and welcome back to Much Game. Welcome to my room. Now today's video is going to be a little different. Now I'm not going to play any video games. I'm not going to scream and yell and curse. Today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about myself that you, you might not have known about me. I mean, who knows? I mean, really the only time that you ever see me is basically when I'm doing this. Oh! Ah! This game is gonna kill me, <laughs> I swear. Hey. Today I think we're gonna be taking shits on people. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Damn it! I was so close. So I just got off the phone with LeBron James. Make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Yeah, we did it! Alright. Oh, sorry about my armpits there. Not that not helping me. <laughs> okay, so now all that stuff aside, uh, welcome to the very first top 10 on this channel ever. And I thought, what a way to kick off a top 10. Now, how do I do that? Should I play a game? Should I talk about something? And ultimately, I decided to, to why, why not tell you guys 10 things about me that you probably didn't know. So let's get right into this list. Now, some people that know me in real life probably know some things about me and might know some of these things on this list. Now, there's a couple people that'll watch these videos and know everything on the list. <laughs> But that's okay. A lot of you guys out there who watch our channel don't know me or Mike personally. So without further ado, let's get it off with number 10. 10. Okay, first off, you guys know already that I love video games. My love for video games doesn't just go to playing these games, I love to collect games. My main focus of collection is anything retro, parking all the way back to the Nintendo. I'm not a fan of the Atari, I wasn't really, I wasn't born back then, I was born in 1990. Probably something you didn't know about me, I'm 25 years old. <laughs> My main focus for collecting has always been in retro games. Um, I'm not gonna show you all my games on this video because I feel like that could be a whole nother video in itself but what I will show you is some of the systems I have that are my favorite and I'm sure you guys will agree as well first up we have a Dreamcast secondly we have the Sega Ooh, the fuck is on this thing one of my favorite systems of all time the Super Nintendo which actually has yellowing up here. I don't know if you can see it. I find that very beautiful. <laughs> it shows age. It just, it, to me, this is a classic. Everybody's favorite, the old dusty NES that doesn't work. Yeah, I'm not really sure why this system doesn't work. I mean, I've replaced the FC3 pin. I actually bought this NES at a flea market for 30 bucks. Now the guy wouldn't come down any lower and I was like, well, what if it doesn't work? And he's like, well, if it didn't fucking work, then we did it. Well, I got it and it doesn't work. Now, this is one of the best systems I think has ever been made besides the PlayStation 2. Many will disagree with me. The Nintendo GameCube. I fucking love this console. So many good games for this. So many good games. Something we can talk about in a later video. Up next, the Nintendo 64 that is still plugged in. I don't know why. So that's just some of the systems that I have. Um, like I said, I want to show you guys my game collection, but I don't want to do it in this video because I know it'll just take way too goddamn long and take away focus on what this video is actually about, and that's learning stuff about me. Okay, number two is going to be kind of an iffy s subject for me and a lot of people, and that is music. Now, I love music. Music has always been a passion of mine since I, fuck, I can't even remember when I decided I would love to do music one day for a living. Now, obviously, I'm an old, washed-up son of a bitch, and... Well, here I am, not doing anything with music, instead doing YouTube. Yeah, as far as music goes, I mean, I used to play the guitar. I played guitar for about five or six years. I started out playing bass. Um, that was that was, that was was a pretty fun adventure. I used to take my guitar to school and play all the time, back when I went to high school. Fucking forever ago. Now, the kind of music that I listen to is kind of weird. I love death metal, deathcore, metalcore, metal, and video game music. Probably it. One of my favorite things to do is go to Pandora, turn on the Super Mario Galaxy radio, and just let that thing play for like six or seven hours. It's the most soothing thing to me. It's pretty funny because I drive my car, and I have subs in my car, and I will blast NES music, Nintendo music, Sega music, it doesn't matter what system it's on, if it's good, I'm gonna blast it. You wouldn't even believe how many people look at me like I'm a weirdo when I drive past them listening to this music. They probably think I'm some creep or something. As far as metal goes, like I said, I like all kinds of genre of metal. Now, there are some people out there that piss me off, and those are the metal elitists. I cannot stand them. Those are the kind of people that are like, My genre of music or no genre of music. No, no other thing is good. This is poser. This is stupid. Get the fuck out of here, dude. If you don't like it, don't fucking listen to it. Don't go wasting your time telling everybody and showing everybody how much you hate something. No one gives a shit if you hate it. Okay, up next, 
Now, I don't only just love retro video games, I am also a huge fan of retro movies. To me, movies from the, the late 80s up till about 97, those are the best movies I could possibly watch. I honestly can't tell you a bad film from the 90s. I also can't tell you my love for Tom Cruise because it is endless. Yes, Tom Cruise is my favorite actor. Now, a lot of people give me flack for this all the time. I hear shit about it daily. To me, the guy makes great movies. I cannot think of one bad Tom Cruise movie. Maybe Vanilla Sky, that's not even a bad movie. I just don't particularly like the story and how it goes. It's just not for me. But movies such as The Terminator, The NeverEnding Story, Indian in the Cupboard, The Lost Boys. The Lost Boys is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. Okay, up next is a little, it's, it's a subject to me that is, is weird. Now, the reason I think that it's so weird is because it's so new to me. It's something I've never done before. Something I had no experience in when I started. And that is doing YouTube. <laughs> Yes, doing YouTube to me is a very scary thing. I am terrified of the camera. Doing YouTube is something that I had no experience in when I first started doing this. I, I've never been in front of a camera. Like I said, I, I loved music back then and it was more or less me always playing the guitar. So when I started to do YouTube and, and, and delve into video editing and recording myself playing a video game, that's something I've never done before. Now, technically, I guess you could say when I was 15, I did a Let's Play. I did a, my very first Let's Play when I was 15 years old and I will show you the clip of the Let's Play and you can probably see why I only did it once. That's right, I made a video just filming Tomb Raider's ass. What I have learned through this experience with YouTube and, and editing videos and being on camera and getting over that weirdness of being on camera. When you when you first start getting on camera and you're starting to, you know, be on camera a lot and then when you're playing video games, you're basically recording them. It is the weirdest, most strangest thing at first. It's not that I'm scared of people judging me per se, but it's just the newness of it and, and, and seeing people's reactions to my videos, which are basically positive. Positive. I have hardly ever had anybody tear me down on a video or say that I did a bad job or that I suck. Do I think about those things? Yes, all the time. I think anybody that does YouTube kind of works themselves work works them <laughs> works themselves up um, on a base to where you know you, like there's people out there watching your videos that you've never met that don't know nothing about you and they're basically gonna judge the shit out of you. It's pretty frightening. You guys happen to be pretty fucking awesome though, so I'm not ever gonna condemn any of you guys because I love you. But doing YouTube, it, it does scare me a little bit. I'm still trying to get over that feeling of being nervous and all that stuff. Oh my god, what happened to my hat? Is that the sun up here? No, that's the top of my fucking bald head. A lot of things that people probably notice but don't ever talk about or say anything about is my hat. Now this hat is in almost every single YouTube video that I have ever made. I wear this hat. Why do I wear it? Because I'm bald on the top and I just think it looks fucking stupid. I feel like there's an overgrown chicken growing in my brain. That's probably why I'm so fucking retarded. Okay, up next is probably one of the most important things to ever happen to me in my entire life. When I was 19 years old, I had a daughter. Her name is Kaylee. She is six years old now. Being a dad is one of the most craziest experiences you will ever go through, or being a parent in general. That first initial shock of finding out that you're about to have a child has got to be one of the most life-changing feelings in the world. I'm sure people out there that have four or five kids get pretty used to it at this point, but when you have that first one, it's pretty crazy. Now, as many of you guys may know, Kaylee's been in a couple of YouTube videos before. She actually has her very own video playing Pajama Sam. I'll put a link to that in the description. I would go get her and introduce her, but I think she's outside. Nah, she's out there riding her bike. Okay, up next, I live with my brother and his wife and four kids and my daughter. You know, finding places to live when, you know, you don't have a lot of money, you know, it, it's pretty hard. Now, I got lucky enough um, that my brother and his wife were nice enough to say, hey, we're gonna buy a house, would you like to move in and help us pay for it? Of course! This is the location that you're seeing now. Um, I have filmed, since the, since the start of the YouTube channel, I think I have filmed in three or four different places that I've lived, being my mom's, a friend's, another friend's, and then here. Now doing YouTube before moving here was one of the hardest things ever to do too because for one, I never had a time when I could record either because somebody was home, somebody was trying to sleep, somebody was always trying to do something so it was always hard for me to record. But after recording those videos and making them and, and seeing my progress just slowly start to go up 
At least I would like to say I've gotten better since the start of this. This is definitely the most comfortable I've ever been recording for YouTube. Living with my family is probably the best thing ever. I mean, I get to live with my three nieces and one nephew. Crazy kids. Love them to death. Even though they drive me crazy all the time, I'm pretty sure somewhere throughout this video you probably heard them yelling and fighting with each other. They do it all the time. Okay, up next is my favorite book I can read. I know, I know. Stop. It's a shock. It's a shock. Every, every, everything in the world just stopped when I said that. To me, I actually found this series by accident, and this series is the Maze Runner series. I happened to just see the movie one day at Target or something and was like, wow, I'm gonna buy that movie. It looks pretty cool. What is the Maze Runner? I literally went home and watched that movie about four or five times in a row. Once I found out there were books, I immediately bought them and read them. I read the first two and I listened to the death cures. By the way, fuck that second movie. To me, the movie was so different from the book, it was just so crazy. And yes, I know there are differences from the first movie in the first book, but I was alright with the changes they made to make the movie work. In this one, it just seemed like the story just got weird. There were some parts from the book, but they were just so changed so much, they might as well not even well have been from the book. But yes, The Maze Runner happens to be my favorite series. James Dashner is an amazing, amazing writer. You should also check out his book called The Eye of Minds. That is a great series too. Well, it's a book. It's gonna be a series. Let it fuck. Now up next, my posters. I have been in love with posters since I was about 10 years old. <laughs> I think it started out with Britney Spears and Hilary Duff and slowly, slowly went into like Slipknot. But yes, as you can tell, my posters. Probably the most important thing about my room is my posters. Now you can only see what is here. But there's actually a lot more over here and back behind you and over this way. Maybe one day I'll do a room tour and you guys can see all my posters. Um, as far as right now goes, I have from that corner all the way to here, completely covered, can't see the wall anywhere. Now, back over here, I have a window back here, so the space gets really weird. So the posters, obviously I can't just go throwing something over a fucking window. <laughs> But yes, one video I'm gonna take you guys through my room and give you guys a little tour. If, if you guys wanna see a tour of my room, hit that like button. Or go down in the comments and say, I wanna see a room tour. And that leads us into our final, final one. I love being in my bedroom. Now, I don't know what it is, but if I'm outside of my room for too long, maybe I have like a slight agoraphobia. I start to think at some points that I do, because if I'm out of my room for too long, being at work does not affect me. Now, it's when I'm out of work and I'm not at home. I start to like get anxiety and I get nervous and I start sweating. It's the weirdest thing in the world. Like I just constantly think about, I want to go home and be in my room. I want to go home and be in my room. I've been this way ever since I can remember. I've always loved being in my room. It's just a thing that I do. I mean, if I'm at home, I'm in my goddamn room. Or I might be taking a poop because I don't have a toilet in my room. Or I might be in the kitchen because obviously I have to eat and I can't just cook in my room. But yeah, I spend about 90% of the time I'm not at work in my room. <laughs> Actually, probably more like 100% of the time. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, just wanted to, to do a video where I kind of told you something about me. I feel like you guys on YouTube don't really know anything about me or Mike, but besides watching us play a fucking video. Hopefully there will be more videos like this. Maybe Mike will do his own version. <laughs> I just called you out, you gotta do it. If you would like to see us make more vlog videos like this, I wouldn't even consider this a vlog. God damn. More just a ta God, Taco Bell. Ugh. This is more just a fun video between me and you guys. I want you guys to know me for who I am and know a lot about me. This way you guys can and, and, and can get comfortable with my videos. I don't fucking know how it works, guys. God damn. But thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Hello, hi! Hi. Is this close enough? Do you feel like you know me now? <laughs>